What's up guys? This is John Gamboa here. I'm your content creator for John GTV. So in this video, that show you how about the latest components there are 8, which is the Republic of Gamers or short term for ROG, which is the Evangelion Edition. Evangelion is has a latest esports brand. It comes with a components and the equipments such as the gaming keyboard, gaming mouse, gaming monitor, and the gaming router. That show you this is my room. This is part 1 and part 2. Part 1 which is a components and part 2 such as a equipments such as the keyboard, mouse, monitor, gaming router. Show you in my room which is my pre-cam for my part 1 which is the components. Components there are latest beautiful color such as color violet, black, and color green. Let's go pre-cam for my part 1 Evangelion team components. Okay, so first you have the CPU or the processor using the Intel Core i7 12700K. The 12700K comes with 8, 8 performance cores and 4 efficient cores, the total of 12 cores with multi threading of 20 threads. With the start of efficient core base of 2.7 GHz and a max tuber frequency of 5 GHz, which comes with a 25 megabits Intel Smart Cache with 12 megabytes of L2 cache with base power of 125 watts and max tower power of 190 watts supports DDR5 dual channel with 1400 mega transfer speed with up to 128 gigabit gigabyte which is 16 times 2 or 16 times 2 is 32 so yes it's Intel Core i7 12700K a second top of the line behind the 12900K or the higher 12900KS. So next, this is our liquid cooling or CPU liquid cooler which is the ROG Region 2 360 ARGB Evangelion Edition. So ROG 360, it has 320mm addressable RGB instead of 320mm Noctua fans. It comes with a compatibility with LGA1700 which is C690 cooled by AC Tech. So they are pump design. We have gasket, pure copper cold plate with skated pins. We have a extension kit, AC Tech 7 gen pump, pump embedded pan, airflow ventilation, aluminum nameplate and 3.5 inch four colored LCD with Evangelion customized animation. So there are 320mm addressable RGB fans. We called ROG AF12S ARGB radiator fans. It comes with up to 1400rpm with 31 decibel fan noise, 3.23 air pressure and 19.41 CFM air flow. We have the fans with of 2 point, 2,200 RPM, fan noise of 3.45 decibel, 3.88 mmh20 and 70.07 air flow. Yes, supported by LGA1700 socket. So thank you for the second review. So next for our motherboard or mainboard, using the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero Evangelion Edition. The Z690 Evangelion Edition, it comes with 20 plus 1 power stages, PCIe Gen 5 video card expansion slot, together with PCIe Gen 4 x 16 slot, with 3 M.2 slots, 2 for Gen 4 and 1 for Gen 3, including the PCIe Gen 5 and Gen 4 support. It comes in the box called Hyper M.2 card of ROG. For DIMM slots, supports dual channel DDR5 memory, including supports Alder Lake processor or Tub Gen. The Z690 Evangelion Edition it has compatibility of Microsoft Windows 11. So about the intelligent motherboard. Together with VRM and aluminum input-output heatsink with chipset heatsink and the M.2 heatsink, three dedicated heatsink kicks up to three M.2 drives, two Gen 4 and one for Gen 3 support. 
it comes with the Maximus uh, animation motherboard here. It is color theme of color violet, color green, and the color black motherboard combination. In addition, the Elite Performance, the C690 Evangelion introduced the Polymo Lightning Display, Racing Input iPod Cover with an eye-catching microstructural array of light and color. This intuitive design features the two RGB patterns, empowering builders to show up a luminous RGB style that they won't see anywhere else. So, thank you for motherboard reviewing our Z690 Hero Evangelion Edition. Okay, so next for RAM or memory. Using the G-Skill RepJOS S5, it has no RGB low profile DDR5 memory. It comes 16 by 2 in of 5200 mega transfer speed. So can we watch this video about RepJOS S5, the low profile high performance memory. So including color white edition, so I'm choosing color black. The RepJOS S5 is a high performance DDR5 RAM or memory with low profile. So latest Intel XMP Profile 3.0 using only the best plus and the same memory I see that pass the cheese skill. Called the PC build for enthusiasts, gamers and modders for the looking for the perfect trinity of speed, capacity and style. Yes, called Intel 12th Gen or Intel XMP Profile 3.0. Available in 4800 mega transfer speed DDR5 is compared to DDR4 3200 mega transfer speed. With, it comes with 33 millimeter low profile DDR5 RAM. So good choice can be using the mini IPX builds or C state with the large CPU coolers. So DDR5 up to 128 GB comparing 32 GB of DDR4. So DDR5 with BG0 to BG7. Available in color white version. All new power management design with engineering DDR5 experience. Thank you for the review about G Skill with Just S5 DDR5 16x2, 5200 mega transfer speed. So, next for the VGA or the video card, using the ROG Strix GeForce RTX 3080 12 gigabit GDDR6X Evangelion Edition. So, which availability with RTX 3090 with 24 gigabyte? So RTX 3080 12 gigabit edition, it has actual tech fans, 2.9 slot design with super alloy power to supporting ASUS R Sync. The actual tech fans upgraded. Actual tech fans has designed to optimize for the new and the larger heat sink that features more pins and surface area than last gen. With the 13 on the center fan, with 11 on the auxiliary fans. It has 12 gigabit GDDR6X with 3 8 pin connector. Okay, availability with GeForce RTX 3090, same with 3 times 8 pin connector. So, power supply recommended is 850 watts. So, okay, thank you for the review about. RTX 3080 12 gigabit Evangelion edition. So next for the SSD or the storage, using the Sabrent Rocket Q4 NVMe 1 terabyte, it has with the PCIe Gen 4 times 4 NVMe 1.3 with L1.2 support, supports smart and trim function, white plus compatibility uses QLC with DRAM, advanced endurance feature for a long driving lifespan. Upgradable firmware and software support. PCIe Gen 0.40 capable motherboard and M.2 heatsink are recommended. It has a 4700 for the read and 1850 megabits sequential read and write respectively. The total of 200 TB total read and writing. What inside the box? The M.2 
PCI agent for 1 terabyte and user manual only including in the box so thank you for our latest sponsor from Sabrent it is 1 terabyte PCIe Gen 4.0 times 4 NVMe. So next for our power supply, using the ROG Tor 1000 Watt Platinum 2 Evangelion Edition. The Evangelion Edition ROG Tor 1000 Watt it has actual tech fan design with ROG heat sinks, LAM PDA A++ certification with 80 plus platinum, together with the LCD real time consumption with the logo of ROG so axle tech pan with 135mm axle tech pan with PWM control delivers without the low noise and keeps thermal in check so ROG heat sinks have 2 times more volume than traditional designs facilitating lower temperatures lower component lifespan and extended 0 decibel operation so enough for RTX 3080 12 gigabit or RTX 3090 24 gigabyte. So lamp BDA A plus plus certification for 80 plus platinum. So enough for RTX 3080 or 3090. So thank you for our review. This power supply using the RG Tor 1000 watt platinum 2 Evangelion edition. So for the last review, this is our case. Using the ROG Strix Helios Evangelion Edition. The Strix Helios Evangelion Edition, it has a premium aesthetics, easy cable management, ready for serious cooling, and a comfortable case handles. First, about the premium design. The ROG Strix Helios Evangelion Edition is made for a showcase build with three smoke tempered glass side panel, fitted in a refined brush aluminum frame, a stunning display of dynamic red, green, and blue. Lighting is integrated into the front panel of Outland Competition. Together with a PSU shroud, GPU braces, GPU holder, translucent rear, rear cover for an effortless that tidy build. Using the PSU shroud with the cut out. So up to 360mm radiator includes with 320mm in the front and one in the back of 120 millimeter so easy case handles easy to handle for price built to land parties using the ergonomic and the stylus fabric handles that are rigorously tested to support up to 50 kilograms or the five or five hundred or five thousand pesos 50 kilograms to so easy to case handles for the ready to build for pc so thank you for our review for today is ROG Strix Helios Evangelion Edition. Okay, so I'm done for our review for today, including the five best components such as the case, GPU, cooling, power supply, and the motherboard from Evangelion from ROG collaboration. So shout out to ASUS for our review for today. For part 1, our components here in my next video, tatagalogin ko for part 2 naman, which is yung equipment, no? It's yung keyboard, gaming mouse, gaming monitor with gaming router. Ang ganda ng router, no? Tatagalogin ko for my next video, no? So part 2, which is the equipment from ROG Evangelion Team. So follow nyo ko on social media accounts. Two followers left on my Leica celebrates 400. So please follow me, like uh, John Gamboa 1996 for 400 followers. I'm John Gamboa for my content creator for Janji TV. See you on my next video. Tagalogin ko ha. Part 2. Equipment. ROGX Evangelion Team. Babush!